Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to you as well. Today, I am giving you a hundred plus ideas on how to make your summer like the movies. Like the most aesthetically pleasing, that girl, hot girl summer activities. If you're new here, hi, my name is Francesca. I make vlogs, hauls, routines, and everything in between. If you like any of that, you should already be hitting that subscribe button. Like right now. At this moment. You got it? So to start this list off, we have go-karting. Go-karting is really fun. A lot of these places that have go-karts have a lot of other activities as well. Next, we have going to TikTok-worthy restaurants. So a lot of major cities, but also some smaller cities, have a list of different restaurants that are either aesthetically pleasing or have like amazing uh, like themes and things like that. And you can really check out a lot of options from there. Next is a closet clean-out. This is honestly something that's great to do in any season. Just cleaning out your closet, it's pretty self-explanatory. Visit an escape room, which is one of my personal favorites on this list because I used to work in an escape room. Make a fancy dinner night at home. So that means dressing up, putting on your nice dress shirt, and making a nice dinner, making maybe like salmon or steak or a really nice chicken dish, whatever you eat. Going roller skating, um, I miss roller skating. Then we have trying a new treat or snack. This could be trying a new snack or treat from another country or just something that's completely new to you as well. And then we have um, basically acting like a tourist in your own city or staying in a hotel in your own city. These trends on like, different forms of social media and YouTube videos are so great because you really learn to cherish your city and I honestly think this is something that I plan on doing this summer. We also have go to a zoo or sanctuary, going to a festival, be it a holiday festival like a July 4th festival or a music festival, just any type of festival where you can kind of get around people who like and enjoy the same things as you. Learning to skateboard or longboard. This is something else this summer that I'm going to be working on. Really honing in on that longboarding. I'm getting a little bit better, but it's not that great. Making a pizza from scratch, which like, that is a task. Especially if you have like a significant other, if you have kids, that is a really fun task to do together or even with your friends. Try vlogging or documenting each day. This could be by vlog, this can be by photo, this could be by writing, this can be by any shape or form. Just make sure that you're documenting all of these amazing opportunities. Go on a doggy date. This is something else I'm definitely doing this summer. Take your dog on a date. Take your dog to their favorite park, let them go to Petco, PetSmart, pick out some toys, give them their favorite treats, take them to get a pup cup. Like, take your dog on a whole date. Camping, or for those of you who are a little bit more bougie, glamping, you can go to a nice yurt, um, you can go to a nice cabin. Doing a time castle or a letter to your future self. This is fun too to do in groups, especially if you have really close friends. You can kind of see how you guys grow and move maybe by next summer or maybe a couple of summers later. Ride scooters and bikes around your town. Now, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of these cities around me have either a Bluebird or Lime or any of those types of brands where you're able to basically like rent a bike or rent a scooter for a certain amount of time. Go to the beach. I mean, it's summer. Do a bonfire or fire pit in your backyard. Have a paint or pottery day. And this could be you making the pottery or painting the pottery. Either way, paint pottery days are great. Go on a date. If there's someone who has been on your mind and you're looking to ask them out, go on a date. If this is like a Tinder or Bumble date, just be safe. But the summer is a really great time to get to know people. Have a picnic day. And this is something else on my list that I'm really excited to do. Because um, this could be in your backyard. If you live in an apartment complex and you have like a grassy area, you can do that there. Rent an Airbnb. Again, be safe with this one. This could be an Airbnb in your city or this could be an Airbnb somewhere nearby that you really wanted to visit. Um, it's just really nice kind of experiencing a place, a home away from home. Next we have the drive-in movie, which is my summer favorite. I do this every summer. If you live in more of a city, um, I know like Charlotte, Atlanta, um, California, places like that, they also have like rooftop cinemas. So same thing there. Those are so cool and so aesthetically pleasing. You take great pictures while the sun's setting. Do a shopping day. And this does not mean you have to spend your money, right? This is a day where if you want to window shop and just go to all the malls in your area, do it. 
go mini golfing or visit Top Golf. I have not been to Top Golf. This is also on my list. A volunteer, be it at a shelter, an animal shelter, have a pool day. Pool days are great. Like summer again pool days are like the epitome of summer to me pull an all-nighter either by yourself or with your friends i think all-nighters are super fun because after a certain while you get very loopy and um it's you don't there's no point of return like <laughs> have a board game or video game night this is something that i would really love to do if i didn't live in an apartment and i can invite a lot a lot of people but you can even do it with a small amount of people just play your favorite games together talk enjoy each other perfect your own smoothie or acai bowl and this is where like that whole that girl part comes in really strong because a lot of people are starting to make their own acai bowls at home because acai bowls are expensive and it's really cool to see how people decorate it differently this is really something that you know can take a lot of time but also you get the joy of eating it when you're done have a potluck party make sure that your friends are clean when you do this and everyone's healthy um and doesn't have a cold or anything like that but potluck par parties are cool you can also do this in a way of like everyone brings something that starts with the letter of their name um there can be different themes and things like that outside of just a potluck party throw a party throw a house party throw a dance party throw whatever type of party you want just have a group of people come together whether it's in your home someone else's home at an event have a party try a new hairstyle I tried that remember go to a concert write and I mean write anything write poems write a short story write just write you know just try it out I think writing is a lot like painting you may not be a stellar writer but at least your creativity has flown out and you're able to express yourself do a trivia night this could be something that you do on your own or that you go to like a bar or something like that to set up. Taco Tuesdays, which is something my friends do all the time. And this can be, again, at a restaurant, at a bar, or you could set it up at your own home. Make a summer playlist. Like compile your favorite songs right now and make a summer playlist. Honestly, I think that that's my next, like on my list for this month of videos it's a summer playlist comment down below if you want to hear my summer playlist go on an adventure and i mean this could be anything this could be going on an adventure to see like a ghost town or a random location or anything like that for me personally i do want to go see where they filmed hunger games because it's not too far from me and i don't like that i have not seen it um so anything like that just go on an adventure just make sure that you're safe and that you're following the laws and regulations in your area start a diy project go to aquarium group photo shoot this is something else that i really do want to do a lot of people have been doing like body positivity group photo shoots um some people have been doing like swimsuit model group photo shoots just get your friends together and take some photos and when you're done with those photos make a scrapbook you can scrapbook the summer you can scrapbook the year before just make a scrapbook throw a cookout i wish i had a backyard because listen that's all i want right now <laughs> do a park paint day i love this idea because it's kind of like a picnic but not really you know you gather up all your paint just enjoy nature and paint what you can paint what your mind tells you to follow a youtube challenge that could be a fitness challenge it could be an eating challenge it could be a writing posting whatever challenge follow a youtube challenge all the way through take a day road trip i love doing this um you know often in my vlogs you guys will see me go to charlotte because it's not too far away from me i can take that trip and come back home these are really fun because it makes you feel like you're on vacation but you also are able to get back to work or school very quickly if you are 21 years or older you can go to a winery you can go tubing which i plan on doing this summer tubing is really fun if you don't know what tubing is basically it's getting in an inner tube floating down a river or creek or lake and it's just like a really calming hot and sticky different type of experience learn a new language i definitely am looking to find someone to work on my spanish with but you can also do this for free um you know finding a friend like i'm doing or you could pay for it and get a service start taking walks again be safe with this one try a new sport 
this one's fun because I was genuinely thinking the other day about how I really wish that I had learned to play lacrosse. Ooh, a room makeover. I did a room makeover not too long ago. You can check that out up here. Um, and room makers are just super cool because you get to really transform your room and then it makes it a whole new vibe for the summer. Do a girls night. Either invite all your friends over, you guys can play games and, you know, do whatever you guys enjoy doing, or you guys can get dressed up and go out and have a girls' night. On the other end, have a you day. Have a self-care day where you care about you, you pamper you, and maybe you have you know, your own routine, your favorite movies, your favorite food, and you just have a you day. Have a disposable camera day. This is such a cool concept and I actually have a disposable camera and it's waterproof so I'm definitely going to use this. Basically just buy an old fashioned disposable camera or if you have a Polaroid and buy a new set of film. Spend the entire day taking photos and then when you're done go ahead and get them developed. Next become a plant person. That's not happening with me but um, some people have the natural talent to take care of plants. Visit a bookstore and start reading. This is a goal of mine for 2022 in general. Um, so yeah, pick up a book. Make a vision board. I know it's halfway through the year, but you can always get started on your new goals. Go to a rage room. Listen, I have always wanted to do one of these. I worked in a job where we had to do like a demolition and it was the most therapeutic thing in the world to just destroy a wall. Have an arcade day. If you guys have a local arcade or a barcade, if you're 21 years or older, go to that arcade or barcade and just enjoy yourself. Try to play new games that you never played. If you don't, go ahead and pull out your old gaming system and have a gaming day like that. Learn a new instrument. This one's exciting because you can learn something as simple as the recorder or as extreme as like electric guitar. Go kayaking. Go to brunch because the girlies love a good brunch. Christmas in July. Um, or, you know, if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can kind of make it like gift day in July. Basically, just get a group of friends or family together, have a big dinner, and exchange gifts. Try to become famous on social media. I know that all of us YouTubers have probably done at least one of these videos before in the past, but you can do it and it's really fun to really like try really hard and figure out how all of it works and who knows, you might like whatever platform that you're making content on. Go to a workout class or start a new workout routine. This is something that I think can definitely be helpful, especially with some people being out of school or maybe having shorter days at work, it gives you that time to really get ahead of it. Go cliff jumping. Now hear me out. <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that this summer for two reasons. One, I have a fresh nose piercing, can't get submerged in the water. But two, I am terrified of heights. But I have heard it is a very liberating experience and I encourage all of you to give it a try if you are in a safe location that encourages that type of behavior. Next we have journal. Um, this is something I really want to work on. Write about anything. Write about your feelings. Write down your dreams. Write about anything. Just journal and make it daily. Do a water balloon fight or slip and slide. Or I was thinking the other day, I think it's really creative when people play kickball with the slip and slides and like mini pools. Any kind of day like that, it's bound for fun. Do tie dye or any kind of bleach dye. Rent a boat for the day or the night. Do a movie night. And with this movie night, you can make it like a themed movie night um, of like, okay, this is a Harry Potter movie night or this is a uh, Marvel movie night. Go to a karaoke bar. Uh, this one I think is interesting and I definitely want to try. Have a charcuterie party. Listen, I've been seeing a lot of these on like Instagram where basically everyone brings their own choice of charcuterie board, but it doesn't have to just be meat, cheese, and like little niblets. It can be like one girl had like a Chick-fil-A charcuterie board. This is a cool idea. Definitely want to try this. Create a chalk mural. If you have a lot of area around you in your apartment complex or if you live in a house and you have a driveway and it is totally okay for you to go ahead and doodle on the ground, go ahead and make a beautiful picture. And the great thing is if you mess up, you can just wash it off. Watch the sunrise or sunset. This one's exciting. I really want to strive to do this. Maybe go to the mountains um, or the beach and watch the sunrise or sunset. I really think that it's really pretty to see all the colors and yeah. Go to an amusement park. 
If you are 18 years or older, get a new tattoo or piercing. Have a cinema festival. This could be a cinema festival that you go out to see. A lot of like local cities and film festival type things happen in the summer. But you can also do a film festival at home. You can do like a 90s film festival or you can get a hold of newest indie films and kind of do all of those together. Go stargazing. Go to a coffee shop. Work. Edit. Hang out. Read a book. You could do all of that at a coffee shop and honestly, it makes you feel so much more social. <laughs> Go fishing. Learn a new skill. And this could be anything. This could be learning how to build habits. This could be learning how to efficiently make something. Just learn a new skill. Try TikTok hacks or Instagram Reels hacks or Facebook hacks or whatever form of social media you use. Some of them are ridiculous, but just try some of them out. Go thrifting. You can do this at any time of the year, but it's kind of fun to go with a group of your friends and pick out outfits. You can also do that whole thing where everybody picks out an outfit for the other person, or you can do a blind pick. You can really go on a hot girl walk. Be careful, be safe, but it is so liberating and great to go on a walk and listen to affirmations or just positive girl power music and take that hot girl walk. Go to a farmer's market. This is something that I'm definitely gonna start doing more on Sundays in the mornings just to get my fruit and just see everything that's going on um, and just the different wares and things like that that people have. Take yourself on a date. Um, this is a concept that I think a lot of the girlies are really starting to get into and I think it's a really cute idea. I brought myself flowers for the first time a couple of weeks back. Um, it's great. It's really great to appreciate yourself and to show yourself that you appreciate yourself. Host a tea party. You can go to the store, get a little cute tea set, have all your friends over, you guys can dress up. Try a new aesthetic. And I think this is a great time too because with hot wear or like hot weather wear, you can kind of easily slide between aesthetics. Um, so it's a great time to kind of figure out like what you really like and what you would like to continue for it with for the rest of 2022. Do a glow up day. This could be an expensive glow up day when you're doing things like getting your hair, your um, like eyebrows, your lashes done. But you could also do an at home one, which it could be more affordable. You could do your own nails, your own toes, your own hair. Just go ahead and pamper yourself. But glow up, change the way you look, and make it a whole thing. And make a youtube video out of it it goes to an airplane viewpoint this kind of goes back to also watching the sunset i think it'll be really pretty to maybe go to an airplane viewpoint and watch the sunset but also a lot of people do this like late at night where it's dark and you can see the stars you can kind of have a conversation with someone and it's just beautiful to see the airplanes just like take off have a good old-fashioned park day and when i say old-fashioned park day i mean get on those swings go down that slide like really enjoy the park if you have a park like i do nearby that has like paddle boats and cool stuff that you can do have that park day and fully enjoy it you could go for a walk if you have a pet you can take them with you like just enjoy the park Next we have go to a museum or art gallery. There are often in a lot of large cities some visiting art galleries or art expos. Definitely check those out. They're always so interesting. Have a baking competition or just like bake a bunch in general. I am not the best at baking. I am an amazing chef but when it comes to baking because there are recipes and directions I suck but I definitely want to hone in on that more. Go to a trampoline park and then lastly visit a flower field you can have a photo shoot at this flower field you can really just like take in the environment they're just so beautiful so aesthetic it's a great photogenic moment and that flower field in the right pictures maybe with that disposable camera and the sunset we just put it all together that is a summer I hope you guys enjoyed some of the options that I talked over here today. Go ahead and comment down below some of the things that you plan on doing during your summer. I am excited to hear it. Also comment down below and let me know if you want to see a specific to me summer bu bucket list. Because I do plan on making one and I do plan on doing a like complete my summer bucket list with me video. 
but just let me know how you guys feel about that. I enjoyed making this list for you guys. If you watch this video all the way through, go ahead and put a camera emoji in the comments. Just a little. <coughs> and also, if you made it all the way through, go ahead and subscribe. You listen to me list off 101 things. Subscribe. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.